welcome. Today guys I'm going to be sharing with you all my recipe for a reapers. Now I'm going to be making two versions. I'm going to make it plain and I'm going to make it with cheese and I'll show you guys what you can do with the plain one. To make this I'm using white cornmeal and I'm using the pan brand. See it's white corn. This is what you want to use. It's pre-cooked white cornmeal. If you cannot find the white cornmeal and you have the yellow one by all means you can use that also. So I have two cups of cornmeal in here and I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt to that and I'm going to add in some butter. Now the recipe on the package doesn't call for butter but I'm adding in butter so that it can help keep this dough moist. You don't have to put the butter if you don't want to. To this I'm going to add in two and a half cups of warm water. And it may seem like a lot, but trust me, that cornmeal is going to absorb that water. You just want to mix this so that it doesn't have any lumps. Once your dough starts to thicken up and come together like this, you're going to switch to your hand. You want to go in and knead this until it's very smooth. I wanted to tell you guys if you wanted a chicken empanada recipe, I'll leave that as an end guard for you all. You all can spice up your cornmeal by adding a package of Sazon Goya. You can use it with or without achote. And achote is the same as ruku that you use in Trinidad when you stew meats or stew fish. You can even use um, some paprika, some cayenne powder, garlic powder, whatever you want to flavor this with, you can use. Next, you want to cover this with a damp tea towel or paper towel and let it rest for about 3 to 5 minutes. Okay, after the dough has finished resting, you're going to form them into small balls. I'm using my ice cream scoop so I can maintain the size of the balls. So I'm going to take a scoop of the dough and I'm going to show you guys how to make the cheese arepas. So here I have some shredded cheese. I'm going to open out the dough and if it's sticking to your hand you would want to use some water. Put the cheese inside of the dough. And you're going to close it up back into a bowl. Now if it's sticking, just wet your hands and it will prevent it from sticking to your hands. And then you're going to squeeze it out into a patty. About three inches in diameter and that's how you make a cheese arepa. I'm just gonna wet my hands and place another ball of dough and I'm gonna make some cheese and I'm gonna make some plain and you do the same thing you roll it out into a ball and this is gonna be a plain arepa and you press it out into about a three inch circle and then this goes into your frying pan so let's move over to the stove as fast as I make them I'll put them in the frying pan so that they can cook up now these are going to cook for about five minutes on each side and you want to cook it on medium low heat after five minutes you're going to flip them And allow them to cook another five minutes on this side okay so this first set is finished this one is the one with the cheese as you can see it's trying to ooze out there and then these are plain arepas I'll show you guys how I fill these in a little bit I'm gonna continue making the rest of them and I'll see you guys right back 
I'm gonna fill my arepas with some roast pork and if you guys want the recipe for the roast pork I'll leave it as an end card for you all so you just put the pieces of pork inside of the arepa and you see how crackly here how crackly the skin is it's like so crispy and then you can put whatever dressings you want on this and then you serve it this is your roast pork arepa so guys here you have it arepas these are the plain ones and these are filled with cheese so if you guys enjoyed today's recipe please remember to hit that like button and share it with your friends if you're new to my channel and you like what you see i hope you subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all another day with another one of my recipes enjoy <laughs>